Sauber Mosh is an engineering company. Its main goal is commercializing of intellectual property in the development of energy-efficient induction electric motors with a unique patented combined winding technology Slavyanka. Induction electric motors are used all over the world in various fields – industry, electric power engineering, construction, agriculture, transport, military industry, housing and utilities, electric transport and others. Motors made using the Slavyanka combined winding technology are more energy-efficient as compared to the classic ones, have an increased service life and reliability, lower production costs and among other things, can meet the energy efficiency classes IE3 or IE4 in the IE1 motor house. This in turn can solve one of the world's main environmental problems. Namely, increase energy efficiency of equipment used by people in different areas and reduce electricity consumption in general. The company Sabelmash is currently a resident of the Special Economic Zone, Technopolis, Moscow. A 2.1 hectare plot on the Labushova site has been allocated for the construction of the design and engineering technology department. Sabalmash will implement its intellectual property on the territory of the future DNE by developing innovative, unique, and efficient electric rotating machines designed specifically to meet the needs and requirements of the potential customer. To date, the technology has already established itself in the market of electric motors. In Russia and other countries, there are hundreds of thousands of modernized electric motors operating made on the basis of mass-produced machines by applying the Slavyanka technology. Today, the company has its own capacities, including the test area, winding and casting shops, as well as high-precision testing laboratories. All the deployed capacities on the leased premises represent a miniature of the future DNE and are necessary for working out the operating procedures that the future specialists will use on the territory of the DNE, conducting the necessary tests and research, designing electric motors, working out the technology of automated production, and so on. This approach will allow to put the DNE into operation in the shortest possible time after the construction is completed.